myself Exhale, cause I heard it helps But same old way I felt Resting on my shoulders Cold night in a sleepless bed White eyes with a glaze of red I am going round and round It won't let me out What is up guys and welcome back to the second episode of the Kofi Yawa So I'm here to show you a fantastic service that I use to get my website online in less than even 10 seconds And I'm about to show you this right now So right now I have a static website uh, that I have I'm working on this for the next video where we'll be doing a wallet app and whatnot So if I'm to go live on my local host I have this extension called Live Server Which you can get from the Visual Studio Code Marketplace and what this essentially does is it actually serves up my projects on localhost. So this project is now running on port 5500 on my localhost, but I'm the only one who can be able to access this particular uh, page. So what if you wanted to share it quickly with a client or a group of maybe testers to go ahead and test your particular product? So that's where I come in. So here I'm going to show you how I can get this live in a few seconds. So there's this uh, tunneling tool called NGROC, and this is the one I'm going to show you how exactly it works. And what exactly it does, it actually forwards your particular local host to a live URL. And to do this, you just have to type in NGROC, then you type in HTTP, and then you now specify the ports that you want to expose to a live URL. So in this case, port 5500. And in, in so doing, I'll be now forwarding uh, this particular uh, uh, this particular session to this particular URL. So if I go ahead and now copy this particular uh, URL generated for me, I can be able to share with whichever person, clients or otherwise, a live URL that they'll be able to test as long as I keep that particular terminal running, which is actually fantastic. And you also get the HTTPS, so it's now secured. And that means you can be able to receive maybe requests and what's not for stuff like MPSA and other kind of APIs. So yeah, how did I get this running? Let me show you the tool. So to get started with this, just go ahead and type in NGROC on your particular browser. So just click on the first line. So online in one line. So to get this set up, depending on your operating system, you will just need to create an account. It is absolutely free to do. So just go ahead and do that. And once you have actually created this account, you will have to actually download uh, this particular command line tool. So you'll see the instructions depending on your operating system on how you can download this. So uh, for Windows, you can download this using this particular uh, command if you have chocolatey installed, or you can actually have this installer. So you can go ahead and do all that. So once you have actually installed this, you will need to add an auth token, which will be generated on your account. So this is actually uh, how the token will look. So you just go ahead and copy this and now including your token that you'll be able to access via your profile once you've created an account. So once you run this particular command after the installation, that is literally all you need to get started with this tool. So basically, you just have to access the tool uh, from your command line. So I've added this to my taskbar, but you can always access it from whichever uh, directory that you installed it and you'll be up and running. So yeah, you can also be able to see the get request, the post request, all that good stuff right here. So that was it for this quick tip. Hopefully you guys found value from this video. If you have any questions or inquiries, do let me know down in the comment section and I'll be sure to reply to it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next particular video. Peace out.